Welcome to Statics. Example. Moment projected about a specified axis. In this example, we have a hinged door acted on by a force. The hinge is oriented along line AB. The force is acting on point C of the door in the direction of point D. We are given the magnitude of the force, 700 newtons, and enough dimensions to find the moment the force causes about the axis of the hinge. Like most engineering problems, there is more than one way to correctly solve this problem. The way I will do it is to find the moment about point A using the cross product, then project the moment about the axis of the hinge AB using the dot product. Writing the steps in reverse order, we want to find moment vector AB. We will get it by multiplying the magnitude of moment AB by a unit vector pointing from A to B. We will get the magnitude of moment AB by finding the moment vector about point A and dotting it with the unit vector AB. We will find the moment vector about point A by crossing a position vector from point A to point C with the force vector, FCD. Another option for finding the moment vector about point A is by crossing a position vector from point A to point D with the force vector. Either option works, since they both originate at the point we are taking the moment, point A, and both points C and D are on the line of action of the force. I will take the second option and use position vector, AD, since it will be easier to write. I need to formulate my position and force vectors. To do that, I will first get my coordinates for the key points. Point A is at the origin, 0, 0, 0. Point B is at 0.4x, 0.2y, and 0z. Point C is at 0.6x, 0y, and 0.3z. Point D is at 0x, 0.2y, and 0z. I can write my position vector, RAD, as the coordinates of point D minus the coordinates of point A, which is the origin. I am left with 0.2 meters in the y or j direction. The force vector, FCD, is equal to its magnitude, 700 newtons, times a unit vector from C to D. I get the unit vector by finding a position vector from C to D and dividing the position vector by its magnitude. I get negative 600i, 200j, and negative 300k newtons. Now I can find my moment vector about point A by crossing my position vector RAD with my force vector. Glossing over the math, I get negative 60i plus 120k newton meters. The J component is zero. Here's what that vector looks like. It is at point A and is perpendicular to the plane made by position vector RAD and force vector FCD. Now that I have vector MA, the moment vector about point A, I need to project it about the axis of the hinge. I do that by dotting vector MA with a unit vector in the direction of axis AB. First, I need to get unit vector AB by dividing a position vector from A to B by its magnitude. Here it is. Now I take the dot product of vector MA and unit vector UAB to get the magnitude of the projected vector. Remember that the result of a dot product is a scalar. It is negative 53.7 newton meters. The negative sign means that if I put my thumb in the direction of my unit vector A to B, the rotation direction is negative or opposite the direction of my fingers. Another way to look at this is that rotation is in the direction of my fingers if I point my right thumb from point B towards point A. I can get my answer, the moment about AB in Cartesian notation, by multiplying the magnitude of MAB times the unit vector UAB. I get vector MAB is negative 48i plus 24j newton meters.